as a 43-year-old woman who was a non-smoker and not a firefighter. The last diagnosis Darcy Lynn Henderson ever expected to hear was lung cancer. Being told that the reason for the change in my voice, my shortness of breath, the tiredness was because I had masses in my lungs and lymph nodes of lung cancer was shocking. Uh, I wasn't, we weren't prepared for that. Um, uh, the support has been overwhelming, really, right from the first time I phoned my principal at school and said, we know now. Um, right through all my family. I, we've never had to worry about that support. But going online and, and seeing that there, there wasn't those supports like there is for other cancers, it sort of made me feel a little lonely. I was my own best advocate. When I first went to the doctor in June, um, because my voice changed. Of course, working in a school, they say, oh, it's that time of year, you're tired. Um, but I kept persisting uh, when, you know, the nasal drip or things like that didn't work. I kept going back to the doctor saying something's not right. After seeing a number of doctors and specialists, Henderson finally got the diagnosis of cancer with an unsure future. The radiation doctor, when I asked, am I going to meet the new grandbabies that are growing in our daughter and daughter-in-law's tummy right now? He said, mm, you might not. And so that was terrifying. I was at this exciting stage in life and I wasn't sure. I was going to be sharing it the way I should be. After chemotherapy and radiation in the summer of 2014, Henderson seemed to show no signs of cancer, but by February 2015, a regular checkup showed the cancer was back. Henderson then went under a risky surgery. The beginning of May of last year, I had surgery to remove the lower lobe of my left lung. Um, lots of risk, but we felt it was the option. If I want to survive, which I do, um, that was, it was worth it. And so here I am now. Um, my tests keep coming back good. Uh, we don't know how long that will happen. Unfortunately, numbers for lung cancer, five-year survival rate, aren't really good. And you know, there's a 20% chance people when diagnosed with lung cancer, live for five years. That's not a really good number, but we've chosen to focus more on the fact that I really didn't fit in that risk factor group to begin with, so maybe those numbers aren't going to apply to me. Henderson's positive attitude led her to participate in the One Walk in Calgary, a 25-kilometer walk meant to conquer all kinds of cancer. It was a moment of uh, almost partial insanity, I guess, when we, we signed up. I had uh, noticed uh, commercials on TV, and the thought of being able to um, target where our money was going, our fundraising money, uh, was really appealing. There's not a lot of lung cancer specific fundraising that you see. A lot of it's uh, pink for breast cancer or prostate cancer. Lung cancer has a, st a stigma base to it. And uh, so that was, that was very appealing. Not the 25 kilometer walk part, but, but the uh, possibility of raising money for, for lung cancer. After Henderson and her husband signed up, her sister and a friend joined them on the journey. Together, they raised over $6,000 for lung cancer research. For Go, I'm Fallon Wagner.